Hey Magic Me on YouTube, T1 Glistenerov here. I'm going to be playing against uh, Lamb. This is actually Hollow Prophet from uh, the, uh, this is the Vintage Untap Open League. So we're in round two and my opponent's on Oath. <laughs> this is, uh, so the Oath payoffs in this deck are, we have uh, Grizzlebrand and Niv-Mizzet Parent. And this is not, say, like a paradoxical Oath. This is just straight up Oath. And it's trying to win on that value plan. I'm still on Captain Crunch. I'm still on a silly deck. So this is the one that uses, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, they're not in alphabetical order. This uses Captain Sisse to go get Paradox Engine, which then you go get Amber, then Opal, make a bunch of mana, and eventually you go and get Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. Uh, so, oh. Pass turn to me. I thought I lost the die roll. Oh. Oh. Okay, so, uh, real quick, Lamb actually mulled to four. Let me make sure this is right. You passed with no land drop? Okay. I'm checking to make sure that I'm not going first, because we rolled... Oh, dear. So, to be fair, this is a mold of four. Why did you keep it there? Okay. Um... This can't be right. Huh. Maybe. And you did the mull to seven four times? I guess that would be three times. Three times? That's crazy bad luck. Sorry. Alright, so I'm not exactly sure once all AFK. Come on, wait, wait for a little bit. Oh, by the way, if you hear that, we're not in a war zone. This is the 4th of July. This is going up way after the 4th of July. But yeah, see, I, I lost the die roll. Wait, 53, 54, 55. Oh, you did. Okay, okay, fair enough. So I will draw for turn. Cool. Didn't get anything spectacular, but we'll take it, I guess. Uh, first, we're going to fetch. Go to 19. It seemed like I was waiting a while. I was just making sure that my opponent, you know, what that everything was on the up and up. That we that they just didn't find what they needed. All right. Now I'm assuming this resolves. Making sure. Cool. Let's take an extra turn. I'm, th I know that my opponent's on oath, so I'm going to try to stick as many of these as I can. All right, cool. Next turn on Dragon Ball Z. All right. Oh, hi. Okay, that's a thing. So let's just get to Fairy or not to Fairy. Uh, let's get Captain Sisse out now. Uh, scoot this over here. Oh, I guess I could fetch. No, it's fine. I Yeah, I guess I could fetch to thin the deck out a little bit. 18. I'm up against Oath. That, it's not going, my life total is not going to matter for this. At all. So, we've already ticked down. Let's go find a card. We'll get the other trop. Though I guess I could also get Bayou. No, Bayou's in hand. So, Savannah? I guess I could get Savannah then. And that still leaves me Trop and Bite. Yeah, so we'll just diversify our mana base here a little bit. Uh, we have green, white. So we're still going to be able to cast Sisse. All right, cool. Once that goes down. Mana Vault. Remember, Jay, that's Mana Vault. Make sure that's okay. It's like you went first and I'm all to three. Oh, no. Forcing with four cards. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You wouldn't really do that, I would think. And I should just win the game from here. Now, they could have Force. Turn 1 Paradoxical Engine. I wish. Alright. And then that Pass. Now, I need to make sure I remember. Uh, I need to pay 4 to untap that, you see. Which I will not be able to do. Not on my upkeep. Alright. So, they got some Moxin. Okay. Oops. 
Oh, what happened? Pass turn, drew a card, hand, and unhand. Put the other one into play by accident, my bad. It's all good. It's all good. No worries. What is going on? Oh, that's the sound of the fireworks. Okay. It sounded like something was rummaging around. I'll give him the... Uh, you're good. That one too. You know, as you do. So they were doing the right thing. They were playing them one at a time. Oh, good grief. What's going on here? Oath. Oh, boy. That's why I played nothing turn one. Risky business. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That resolves. All right. Now, how do I get out of this? We don't have anything that we can go and get, like, a Rexage effect in game one. So, don't have Containment Priest. Gotta play to my outs. Thinking. What can I go and get? So I can get Thalia, Heretic, Cathar, creatures in non-basic land. So, even when the creature does come into play, it'll come into play tapped. And that'll limit a little bit of their utility. At least that's the hope. That's the idea. Uh, we could also try... Oh, no, wait! Get Kunaros! Oh, get Kunaros! Uh, yeah, okay. Players can't cast... But creature cards and graveyards can't enter the battlefield. Now, the way that Oath of Druids is worded... Hello? Okay. Hello? Click. I'm trying to... Why are you not... Ah! Okay. Work for me. Okay, fine, I'll go to another browser. Fine. Alright. So, real quick. Oath of Druids. Cool. Looking it up. Alright, I just want to make absolutely sure that this works the way I think it works. I'll, uh, I'll let him know, actually, what's going on. Reading a card to make sure that this works. Alright. Cool. So Oath of Druids is, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player chooses target player who controls more creatures than they do, so they'll choose me, and is their opponent. The first player may reveal cards from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card. If the first player does, that player puts that card onto the battlefield and all other cards revealed this way into their graveyard. What that means is that, unfortunately, I'm not actually going to be able to use uh, Kunaros to stop Oath. I can stop them from flashing cards back, but I can't actually stop Oath itself. Uh, and that's a little bit of a problem, so let's see. Other things I can try to do. Uh, I, again, I can use Thalia to stall for a turn by making their creature come in tapped. Even then, that's not the end of the that's not the greatest thing. Uh, Teferi, Oko, Narset, Ashiok. Um, none of those exactly get there, I'm afraid. All right. Okay, no problem. Hmm, I think I know, might know which one. Alright, so we're going to untap, except you stay tapped. We're actually going to draw the card first. Alright, force. Not a great card here, unfortunately. That's not what we'd like to see. Uh, so I can go Captain Sisse, go and get Thalia. Ah, this is a weird selection. I can get Ashiok and just pray that I, I hit their creature in the top four, the creature that they would have gotten. But that doesn't seem all that likely. Next turn, though, I can get Oko. Narset? I, I kind of would like to just set up a wall here. Uh, how many cards do they have in hand? They have one. Okay. So I can go um, Teferi, because Teferi can bounce their artifact creature or enchantment. Oh no! Enchantment! That's right, so Teferi can stall me for a turn. Green, or blue, white, red. Okay, cool. Cool, we got there. Searching. Okay. Alright, T. T is for Teferi. Okay. Play Teferi. We're going to put Teferi way over here. So it's like mana producers, creatures, planeswalkers. Cool. 
I just want to make sure. Alright. And counter. I can still get the creature, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't work the way... They, they may not realize what I'm doing here. But I can return an enchantment to its owner's hand. So this does buy me a turn. You do get the bounce, though. Ye Alright. Please draw a blue card. Please draw a blue card. Hmm, okay. That could have been better. That's fine, though. Uh, okay, so then what? I can play Trop. I'm gonna scooch you over here. <laughs> Alright, cool. Play Deathrite Shaman. And then pass the turn, I guess. So we have Deathrite up. Alright, so that, that bought us a turn. Maybe we can make something out of that. Maybe. Let's see. Alright, they're gonna do it again. Sadly, we didn't get a blue card, so it resolves. And I only have one Teferi because it's a Captain Sisse deck. Alright. So, now what do I... Oh! You know what? That was that was really bad of me. That was no, it's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I could have instead played Paradox Engine first. Uh, this is fine. Played Paradox Engine first before the Deathrite Shaman, but I actually still lack the one mana for Deathrite Shaman. But it's it's that would have been correct. All right, so now it's time for us to try to go off. Try to. Okay. My draws are not doing great for me, unfortunately. This is not as good as we would have hoped. Okay. But we can make this work. We can make this happen. We, we have one extra mana with which to work, so it's time to combo off now. Alright. Tutor. Alright. Make sure that's okay with them. See if we're, that's okay. Alright. Now it's going to be Paradox Engine. Which should be... P is for Paradox Engine. Alright. Which we will cast. Please. Please don't resolve. I mean, please resolve, excuse me. Please resolve. Does it survive? All right. Now. Now. <sighs> it could be force. <laughs> could be force. Lol. All right, but I did play land. We're not there yet, but we are really stinking close. <laughs> I can't cast force. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. No! No! <laughs> yeah, Teferi's being a jerk over here. Uh, next turn we win. But we have to get to next turn. So we're going to pass turn. Alright. So they definitely get to go off with a oath. Hey! Alright. So if they find Niv, they draw a card, ping Sisse once, and then if they draw another card, then Sisse takes two, and then that's it. Alright, so they found a land. Oh, Oath Trigger. <laughs> sure. It's late, but... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, all right, so this time the drink is brought to you by it was tea. I don't think you had anything. I didn't think you had anything. Uh, was brought to you by. Oh, I mean, it happens on upkeep. So before the land, it's fine though. 
So what, what I'm getting at here is that they actually played the land before the oath trigger. You can't play lands on your upkeep, oath happens on upkeep, so I don't know why you would cast it. Yeah, so theoretically, they actually miss the trigger, but it's okay. What? I'm... Wait a minute, what happened? Oh, they fetched! Oh! Oh, that was... That wasn't a play. It was a reveal. Uh, it was a part of Oath. Alright. It was from deck. Okay, okay, okay. I see what they're saying now. Admittedly, this is a weird way of doing it. Normally what you do is you go into this function here, and you go through discard, and discard one at a time. So that's what threw me off there. But yes, it does actually say from deck to play. So, if I had been paying more attention, I would have seen that. It's odd, but it happens. Alright. If it's Grizzlebrand, we're safe. Jeez. You're not dead yet. Yeah, and there's a lot going on over here. Uh, you can use brackets to uh, go through it frame by frame and see what all... There's Niv. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, crap. We're not, we're not out just yet. <laughs> uh, 39 cards. Good God. Good God. All right. So they'll draw a card. If, they're, if they think about it for a sec, they'll ping the Sisse, because if they don't, they're in trouble. You know I shuffled in, right? You know why I shuffled in? Uh, was there a Gaia's Cradle that showed up? It's just showing unknown from deck to play. I missed that. It only... Actually, you know what? Let me, let me just go through here. Not Guy's Cradle. Guy's Blessing. Alright. Guy's Blessing. Guy's Blessing. There we go. Alright, so we got there. I didn't, I didn't see it, but... This is, this is not the tightest play, but that's okay. It happens. It... It happens. Uh, Guy's Blessing is a card that you see when you are... Uh, it's one of the cards you can use to try to make sure you don't deck out. Niv Trigger, okay? Alright, see where they say it's going. They should say that it's going at Sisse. I, th I would think... Uh, they could be thinking about Teferi. That, that's definitely not the right play, but it's reasonable. I don't know what's in their hand, and they could be worried, like, if they need to turn off counter magic. But then you just... Oh, okay, so they're doing it at Teferi. Okay. If you say so. Alright. Or if they have, like, a brainstorm, they can... Or a recall, they could just do... Excuse me, both of them. Okay. And they don't know that I have the second Sisse. Alright, so there's Sapphire. And the way that Ni Okay. Oh, that's why they did it at Teferi, because they couldn't do the second to Captain Sisse. So they're just getting what they could. Alright. It's probably not worth it to worry about the one. Because um, I can pay four in here. I'm going to get to untap it anyway. It's fine. No, wait a minute. I don't get to untap the lands repeatedly. I do with Mana Vault. Right now, I only have... I have three... Okay, okay, so we're fine. Um, gonna go... One, two, three, four. Pay for Mana Vault. Cool. Okay. Alright, so now we get to draw. Let's draw a card. 
Oh, good. Oh, uh, mm, that's interesting. That's fair enough, though, I guess. That is good news. Alright, so plus to plus. Uh, we play the land first, I believe. Alright, so we go 15. Omae wa mou shindeiru. And we get out the last of our lands that we can actually uh, fetch out. We have uh, one more trop, and then we're done for lands that we can fetch. So any more fetch lands are just dead, but we don't usually come across this many, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's, it's whatever. I'm going to organize the field just a little bit here. Alright, so there's that. Okay. Tutor. Alright, so here it's time to combo off. Now Teferi says they can't play stuff, so uh, Mox Amber. Uh, goes to hand. Just a way of revealing that. Okay, so. I need to get out some to some tokens here. Red mana. Red mana. Red mana counter. There we go. Put into play. Oh, hi. There we are. Maybe. All right. Cool. Colorless mana. Colorless mana counter. Also cool. I don't even know what that looks like. It's an RK Post one. That's neat. Hello? Please let me pick you up. Hey, there we go. Alright. So, cool. We will add one, two, three. This doesn't normally take this long. And then add one. Oh, good. That's part of why, though. If you say you do, I scoop. You win, right? Uh. Yeah. Pretty much. I get Ulamog after a couple of loops. I get cast Ulamog after a couple of loops. So basically the way that this works is I cast I cast Mox Amber, it untaps everything, tap it again, uh, Mox Opal. Do that. Do that. Game two. Uh, and then at that point, I go and get Hope of Giraper. Do it again, and then go and get uh, Ulamog. I can do more just to build more of a record. I don't necessarily need to though. All right, so I got that one. Let's see, Let's do our sideboard shenanigans. So this is Oath, <laughs> which means we actually can do Graph Digger's Cage. <laughs> Fun fact: it does work for our deck. Uh, because we're actually putting the cards that we get... Oh, don't you... <sighs> okay. Not done yet. Untab hates me. It wasn't letting me let go. Hello? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Please, just let me do my thing. Alright. Sideboard. Oh, no. That's not what I meant. Alright. Scoop deck. Plus sideboard. Okay! Maybe we'll be fine. Alright, so we do have to worry about Oath itself. So, Force of Vigor. Veil of Summer. Absolutely comes in. Uh, Graph Digger's Cage. The other three. And now we have a lot of cards to take out. I only would like to have one Force of Vigor, though. I could do more. Probably, I'm going to start with one and see where we go from here. So, easy out, let's say easy, <laughs> is just there to make the combo a little more consistent. When we're on the draw, it's probably better to keep the Force of Will in. Uh, Caracas is absolutely broken here. We don't need Kethys. We're the control deck, we don't need that extra time. Although, it does work for getting Paradox Engine back, but we're, we're winning on either the combo or a ton of creatures. 
uh, Kudaros actually doesn't do all that much. When we look through their deck, they don't actually have a lot that they're flashing back. Um, let's see, actually, what do they have? Like, lets them... Okay, okay. Let's see, do they have any Ancient Grudge? Any copies of Ancient Grudge? Uh, in the sideboard they do. Ah... Uh, it's not... enough. It's not anywhere near enough. So we, we take Kunaros out. Alright, so... Lavinia still gets to remain as a f four of. Well, maybe. Uh, when you're on the play, she's not... she's great. When you're on the draw, they already get to play their Moxin out. So we'll take out one. Lower that just a tiny bit. And now we have five more to go. And this is where it really starts to get tricky. So, Oko actually works against Oath, not just for them, but against them. Uh, we talked about Thalia and why she still gets to stay around. We still need to keep in Ulamog as, as a combo piece. Um, so now I really have to make some, some serious decisions here. Um, Ashiok is okay, but I don't know that Ashiok does enough to stay in. Let's look at our opponent's deck list. Uh, two Flooded Strands, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there's not really a lot of searching that they're doing other than that. And it's it's not a, a knockout against them, so we'll take out Ashiok. So it's okay, but not the, not the greatest card for this. Uh, Emery is what I'm going to use instead for trying to... What? Art? Okay, there we go. For what I'm, is what I'm going to try to use instead if Paradox Engine gets countered. Uh, I guess I can take out... <laughs> it seems so weird, but, you know, you do what you have to do, and your job is just make sure that I keep that I find another card. It, that's what you do as part of the combo. Alright, I need to find some non-creatures to take out. So we're, we're down to three Force of Will in the main, naturally. Uh, hmm... Narset, Oko, Teferi... Those are all good. Those all do something. Um... Take out... Thalia? Not Guardian. Heretic? Uh, they're gonna get a chance... Hmm... On the off chance that somehow they don't happen to have Mox land, this Thalia actually does slow them down a little bit. It's scary not having a way to counter that Oath, though. Alright, Heretic Cathar can go. 62. Let's take out Force of Vigor. Alright, Triple Veil. Graph Digger's Cage, and there's a fourth one already in here. Should be, yep, there you are, right there. Alright, scoot you on up. Alright. Hmm, so seven cards coming in, and if we stick this, then we're in okay shape. We're in decent shape, actually. I could just go in with 61 cards, but there has to be something else I can cut. Although, on the other hand, I am actually tempted to go in the opposite direction. Kinnon can go. 60, I can bring, I can take something else out and bring in another Force of Will. Uh, they're definitely bringing in the Ancient Grudge as another way to try to get rid of Cage. Veil... Uh, let's try it with three Force of Will. This seems odd. I'm watering down the combo a decent bit, but we can still get there. We actually don't even need that many creatures for the combo itself. So we'll save it, and try... try... <laughs> Yo, I didn't type, <laughs> I'm here. Wait, did it not... You have 61 cards in your library. Yeah, I, I did, because... Why do I still have 61 cards? Did it not save? Oh my goodness. It did not save. There's Ashiok. <sighs> Alright. So they have... They don't see what's going on, but... Basically, I, it did not save my, uh... My shenanigans. Just then. This is, this is frustrating. Did I not hit save deck? I could have sworn I did, but now I'm doubting myself. Maybe I didn't. Alright, so those go back in. 
I'm just trying to do this the same way I did a moment ago. Alright. See if I remember exactly how I did it a moment ago. Kethis, Kinnon, Kuneros, one Lavinia, and then please save this time, and then Thalia, big one. Okay, save. 60. Okay. Chill. <laughs> Chill, dude. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get through this together. Okay. So we have two... Yeah, this is fine. Alright, keep. <laughs> this Hollow Prophet, when you watch this back afterwards... If you watch this back afterwards... I'm sorry, I'm not meaning to get on to you, but... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we'll get through this together. Alright. Hmm. Alright, well, y'all. Fireworks have stopped. <laughs> Alright. So they're trying it again. Uh, and instead of using the mulligan function, I think they're uh, doing it manually. Moving the cards from hand to deck, then shuffle, then draw seven. Alright. Keep, I guess. Alright. And how many times did they do that? There's a function where you can call the players back to game. <laughs> it, it was spammed. Why? <laughs> Alright. So I did say that I'm ready to go. I, I guess they may be deciding on what the... Uh, what the next card, the second card to be put back on the bottom might be. Uh, because they did this once, went to six, did this another time, go to five, and a uh, tough decision, I'm sure. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Don't you go to five cards? Let me let me check again just to make sure. I, I want to make sure I wasn't seeing that incorrectly. All right. All right. So they did that. Drew seven. Alright, shuffle, uh, that's me. Oh, was that me here? Okay. No, 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 that was them. Move seven, shuffled, drew seven. Okay, cool, no, no, I, I see. Wait, I see now. Wait, I see now. I thought I saw you mold twice. Yeah, that's... Do I need to be Magic the Gathering to every game? Is that a requirement of me playing in tournaments? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm generally against the usage of nouns as verbs. <laughs> I don't even... Although I do say it, I try to catch myself saying uh, Google as a verb. Like, go Google it. Uh, <laughs> that's... It's really unlucky all the time. Oh, okay, I see what they're saying. So, they're a victim of of Magic the Gathering is what they're saying. Okay, I, I took that a different way. <laughs> Ripperino. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, so they pass to me. I will draw a card. And see if I can get this to, to go off here. So we're gonna go... We're going to go... Fetch first. Alright. We're going to get the bayou. Because other, that's our source of black mana in case we need it. We also have the mock sapphire, so we'll be okay. Uh, bayou is way down here. Cool. Okay. We're getting mana screwed. Okay. Okay, fair enough. 
I got them now. I see what they're saying. Threw me off for a sec there, bud. <laughs> That's alright. Okay, so we're going to have Emery next turn, and we're going to be able to hold up both Veil and Mental Misstep, so we should be okay. Uh, what do we say? Oh, fair enough. Uh, uh, oh, okay. See what they got. Ooh. Ooh. Spirit token. One one white spirit token in in lowercase. So you know this is going to look superb. Oh no, that's a zero one. Never mind. Okay. One one spirit. Cute one one spirit. Toho. Okay, Toho. And then, and then I see that. Oh my god. Okay, well... <laughs> sure. Sure. Why not, Toho? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, uh... Next turn? Silly token is silly. Alright, so we'll go on to my next turn. Superb. Alright. So in this case, we'll go. Uh, you. And I will cast Emery. See if Emery is cool with that. Alright. This should resolve. They, they did just throw out a spell pierce. Um, not that that meant. What I'm saying is that they're less likely to have counter magic now. Okay, so that's good. Emery ETB, I'm gonna mill the top four cards. Alright, mill four. Alright, cool. So let's see. This is, this is normally how that sort of thing is dealt with. Discard two, discard two. So what I hit? No artifacts. None whatsoever, you jerk. You jerk. Okay, well, I want, I'd like to play Noble. We don't really have anything to use the Veil on, but it would give me a card to draw. So we're actually going to... Do we swing for two here? Mmm, this seems greedy. This seems greedy. Uh... I don't have anything else I can counter anyway this turn. So we'll play Noble. Okay. All right, let's see where we go from here. Where do we go from here? All right. If this doesn't stick, I might... I mean, it's okay. If they use up, like, a force of will on a noble hierarch, I'm probably in decent shape. Swing two. Swing low. All right. And then pass turn. So Emery uh, did not happen to find any artifacts at all. Uh, sad but true. Now we're actually kind of hoping our opponent will play a blue card so that we can use Veil just to cycle. Hmm. If they play a blue card and we're not able to counter, or black card, but that's not their deck, and we're not able to, is Emery for <laughs> hog loops? Um, no, but she's, she gets stuff for me when she feels like it. Uh, Emery is there so that I can get back artifacts from the yard. And yes, multiple artifacts can go in a given turn if I happen to find them and have Paradox Engine. Alright, so we'll draw. Okay, so they have a Mox Ruby, a really aggressive one coming right up to the no man zone. Alright, we will go... Alright, Soul Ring. 
make sure that this resolves. If not, we can cast it right back with Emery. Alright, see if that's good. Could she be good with Hog? Hog? Uh, which one is that? Hog. Hope of Giripur! Hope! Yes, yes she could. It's a nice benefit. Hope of Giripur, yeah. Okay, so I see what they're saying now. Yes, one of the things you can do uh, <laughs> is you can use Hope of Giripur, uh, sack it, and then use Emery to get it back so that your opponent just doesn't get to play non-creature spells for the rest of the game. Uh, so yes, that is a th that's not her purpose, but that is a nice little side benefit you can have. And since we're often getting Hope of Giripur as our third card anyway with Sisse... Stop! Stop! <laughs> I'm thinking. Alright, good, good grief. Good grief. Alright. Um... We will... Go to combat, and swing for two. Okay. 18 to 16. Pass turn. Pass the turn. Smoldering is such a good card. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hmm. Played in every EDH deck for a reason, I suppose. Not literally, but it's one of those you have to kind of stretch sometimes to find a reason not to play it. Alright, so now we definitely play this Tundra here because now, one, two, three, four, five, six, we have both. So that seems okay. We should be in a decent spot here. Hiya! I, I don't know how to do the in with the accent over it to write senor. <laughs> Dos amigo. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I'm just having fun. As is my opponent. I hope. Now, we don't have a quick clock here. They will eventually get out of this. Ugh. I feel that. Yeah, that, that one orchard it might put a world of hurt on them. Not really, because we could have just done the Emery instead, but it changes the clock ever so slightly. Alright, please. Something. Oh! One, two. Three. Dun, dun, dun! Alright. Want to counter it? Okay. Oh, I have it backwards again. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's good. She's real good. Alright. So hit them for two. You know, we don't have Paradox Engine yet. But, but... Uh, I can actually just cast this out of nowhere, not to do anything. I can just cast it just to untap Par with Paradox Engine out. And we don't have a lot of mana yet, but we will get there. Alright, so they already changed it. We'll pass the turn. Okay. Okay. Have you ever thought about something like Ashling's prerogative for haste or something? Uh... I thought about Lightning Greaves. <laughs> it's a th thought for sure. There was actually a previous iteration of this deck that had red, uh, mostly for two cards. Anger, which could give haste as long as I control a mountain, and anger is in my graveyard, but I need to get it in my graveyard. And then a legendary, I think it's the one legendary metalcraft creature that gives creatures you control plus three plus oh as long as you have Metalcraft. 
and that counts himself, and he has, like, first strike, I want to say. Um, Ashling's prerogative. Interest, interesting card. So let me, let me pull that up real quick, and you won't be able to see this, so I, I apologize for that. I'll just pull it up real quick. Oh, did I not... has drawn one card. Oh, they passed it back to me. That was quick. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Does not come up. Okay. Maybe there's another... I'll type Ashling's prerogative. Oh, I, I just can't spell. Okay, so two mana enchantment, comes into play just odd or even. Each creature with CMC of that uh, value has haste. Without it, comes into play tapped. Okay. Right. Sure. And it's a two mana red enchantment. One in red. Okay. It does give haste to Ulamog. Um, okay, okay, that's fair, I suppose. I don't know that it's great, I can't tutor it, but I also can't tutor Lightning Graves. And it's the same CMC. Okay, uh... I guess I'd just like to fire it off now, actually. I can use this first. No, 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 no. Tutor time. All right. So let's see. Let's go and get Paradox Engine again. I should not be winning this matchup. This is not the greatest of matchups. One, two, three, four. Scooch over here. And then, uh, oh, five. Okay. Force of Negation. Uh, let's try... Response. Veil of Summer. Alright, let's see what they have. Another counterspell. Mental Misstep. I can do Ancestral Recall, then Force. I'm not going to be able to... Oh, wait a minute. Do I have any... I still don't have any artifacts in the yard. Yeah, that hasn't changed. Uh, if I don't hit a blue card, we're in trouble. Maybe. I kind of don't want to risk it, though. Because if this resolves, I, I should be good. Don't want to risk it. Yeah, no, 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 no. This is okay, this is okay. I can just go off next turn. So... If we get it, we're fine. So, Ancestral Recall, targeting me. Beep! Right there. All right, they're doing it. They're doing stuff. Ooh, interesting. Nice, nice. Resolves. Okay, so I'm really glad I didn't fire off the Force then. It's okay though, we can still get it back. Uh, the way that this is worded, you may cast that card this turn. Okay. So that ended up kind of working out a little bit. Okay. So, combat. Hit for two. Alright. That was a pretty thick stack. You know it. Alright. Swing two. All right, we're, st we're still in okay shape. All right, pass turn. All right, Emery, do your thing, do your thing. They won't know what hit him. They're gonna see why Emery's in the deck. A braid, ooh, okay. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, sniped. True. True. Alright, draw a card. That's what I needed. Uh. I have the second card to hold it up. Activate.
one, two, three, four, uh, we'll say five. No, it shouldn't have been exile. Oh, no, it was exile. It was force. Ooh. <laughs> I forgot it was that force. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Because Black Lotus was actually used for it. Black Lotus was popped to give it all that. That's right. Oh, uh, well. I put in the wrong one. Giggity. Uh, <laughs> I'm mature, folks. I'm real mature. Uh, it's, it's okay. So we will go to combat. And hiya! Swing two. Oops. 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 It ended up working out, <laughs> kind of. All right, so we'll pass, and then we'll play this. We'll pop this for deck thinning later if we need to. But I don't even need to hold them off for that many more turns. Okay, so that's their top deck. All right. So let's see. Go and get. Uh, we'll say Savannah, just to diversify the lands a little bit. Okay. Just making sure. Aha! T. He. He. Uh, yeah, green and white. Guess I could do this. Second verse. Alright, but one, two, three, four, not quite enough, go to combat, swing two, alright, am I going to beat Oath? Maybe, if they, if they can't find it then the answer is yeah, but we'll see, alright, went out for a sec. Alright, we got there. Then we'll pass. So they have a turn where the shields are down. Although at this point, if they just play Oath and that's all, uh, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four. Which is lethal. So even Oath doesn't get them out now. We'll see. What's going on? Uh oh. A braid again. I mean, you have to hit the captain. Second verse. Same as the first. I actually wouldn't counter that one anyway, because she's no longer necessary. So, she dies. Rip, Ripperino. Ripperino. Alright, let's see what else you have. So this should be game. So I moved it out. Yo, Moo. Yo, Moo. I had to bring Toho into this somehow. Okay. So that was on their turn. Go! What are you... Get out of here! Alright, alright. <sighs> buddy, buddy, shoo. Alright. <sighs> get out of here! Come on, go! Okay, that's fine. You can sit there. That's okay. Oh, my bad. It's all good. It happens. I haven't pressed pass yet. Alright. See? <laughs> I mean, I guess we could play it just to... just to do it. Doesn't really matter at this point, though. Derp. T1 Glistrov, Toho 1 1 Spirit. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see how it goes. All of my creatures now, except Noble Hierarch, are must kills at this point. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And they can't even tap this, because if they do, that gives me another creature. 
that just kind of perpetuates it a little bit. A little bit. Also, they're off green mana unless they use Orchard. Okay. I'm going to hold the land back. Just in case. I don't know why. There's nothing in their deck for which that matters, but just in case. Alright, so now we have Hardcast Force of Will mana. And oh, do we. Do we ever. Alright. No, thank you. Thank you, though. Imagine losing to a 1 1. Hey. Yomu is voracious. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Exalted OP. <laughs> Alright, we'll just reveal. Uh, keep reveal. So, revealing hand. <laughs> Unfortunately. I was gonna do this. Alright, what you got? Nature's Claim. Ooh, to gain some life. <laughs> I just grew, drew Grizzy. Oi. Yeah, so I would still be on the beatdown plan here, but uh, Lavinia actually would be kind of stupid, because even if they top decked Oath, they wouldn't be able to cast it. A ways away, but still. Lo siento. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I, I don't. I don't know what to say. It's. It's okay. Well, you know, when you when you lose, especially in what's supposed to be a good matchup, um, I don't. I don't mind letting the salt. You know, come out a little bit. An amazing matchup, indeed. Oath is generally very favored. Uh, the Teferi there is is odd. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, they left. Ah. Uh, all right. Well. Good games. <laughs> um. I, what can you do? It it happens. Um. That's. You know, every, it's a it's a blessing. It's supposed to be a curse, but it's a blessing. Whenever I say I'm going to lose to Oath. I beat Oath. Um, whenever I say this deck can't possibly beat Oath, it does. There's this one, and then there's the Hogak one, where I played a modern Ho de Hogak deck in Vintage, and I beat Teamer for Life, maybe? It was a... <laughs> no, I beat Teamer. He actually won, but he, he didn't have the ability to cast Grizzlebrand, but he put Grizzlebrand into play and drew, because he thought he had the black, 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 black in the cost, but he didn't, so... Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They they took it well. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that's this round in untap. I am one one, and if I just keep going straight on through, I might be able to squeeze just a little bit into the top. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I can get the deck list on on MTG Goldfish. The stupidest deck you've ever seen in your life. This should not work. But we're 1-1, one, one, so it can't be that bad, right? Right? Alright. Uh, take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>